Yuma Proving Ground, a historic and important part of the U.S. Army. The grounds play host to tank tests, NASA parachute drops, and of course, artillery tests. More than 23,000 artillery rounds are fired off at YPG every year as the Army utilizes its busiest test facility to refine one of the nation's most dangerous forces, the M777 Howitzer. This weapon of terror can deliver tremendous force and with the correct round can fire accurately at targets 25 miles away. It is also comparatively lightweight, tipping the scales at just over 9,000 pounds. A crew of up to eight Marines can quickly set up and fire the weapon, taking the team a mere 15 to 20 seconds in between each round. But all this firepower and technology didn't come out of nowhere. The use of artillery has been around for close to 1,000 years, with the U.S. taking full advantage of its forces in every single major conflict since winning its independence. Back at YPG, the M777 is being prepped for a day of testing as the Army is working with private contractors on a new type of artillery round. The test involves firing um, the fuse on a 155mm projectile and firing that out of uh, an M777 uh, howitzer. This particular test is being conducted on the Kofa firing range, one of many such facilities on the grounds. With so much explosive action going on, safety is paramount for these tests. The weapon system, as long as you have everything working properly, you're good to go. Gregory Kay is an artillery test leader who explained to me the strict guidelines they follow before each and every shot. We verify that a uh, proper round, proper charge uh, is going to go into the system. Once everything is set, we have a load tray that the round sits on the load tray. I uh, make sure the vehicle that brought the round is uh, past or safe distance for us to be able to ram the round. Every step taken along the way is accurately monitored and recorded, not just to provide information on the test, but also to guarantee the safest possible execution. So we do those steps to make sure everything is safe same time when I'm walking back from here to undercover that I need to be underneath, I'm verifying that everyone's uh, safe, not out about where they're not supposed to be. Kay says tests like these are what help keep our forces strong and ready for anything. I'd say it's important to do them out here at YPG or as much as possible. It's, we want to make sure our troops are getting accurate and reliable equipment. Uh, I mean, anywhere from this weapon or that weapon, you want to make sure everything's working. We don't want to give them stuff that's going to break down on them too quickly. While artillery has been devastating battlefields for centuries, it took a lot of hard work and determination for the technology to evolve into what it has become today.